brothers and sisters, we gather together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, wherever you are right now, whatever you're going through this moment, the Lord is with you. And we welcome the Lord on this Sunday again with gratitude and with hope and with humility. And as we come before God, we come in humility, asking for forgiveness for all our sins and for the sins of the whole world. God is loving and merciful. And may I invite you too to forgive people who have hurt you and pray for people you may have hurt in any way. And finally, forgive yourself. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You're seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Sisters and brothers, count your blessings, not what is missing. We have so many things still to thank God for. So we pray glory to God, God in, the, in highest. the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Let us now include our personal thanksgiving, requests, and intentions and our earnest collective prayer that this pandemic will end soon, that we will not be infected by the virus, and that we come out better persons from this pandemic situation, humbled, purified, O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve of our deeds and our deeds. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I too will take from the crest of the cedar, from its topmost branches, Tear off a tender shoot and plant it on a high and lofty mountain. On the mountain heights of Israel, I will plant it. I shall put forth branches and bear fruit and become a majestic cedar. Birds of every kind shall dwell beneath it, every winged thing in the shade of its boughs. 
and all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, bring low the high tree, lift high the lowly tree, wither up the green tree, and make the withered tree bloom, as I, the Lord, have spoken, so will I do. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name most high, to proclaim your kindness at dawn and your faithfulness throughout the night. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. The just one shall flourish like the palm tree, like a cedar of Lebanon shall he grow, that they are planted in the house of the Lord, shall flourish in the courts of our God. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. They shall bear fruit even in old age, vigorous and sturdy shall they be, declaring how just is the Lord, my rock, in whom there is no wrong. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are all courageous, although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous, and we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore, we aspire to please Him, whether we are at home or away, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may receive recompense according to what he did in the body, whether good or evil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The seed of the Word of God, Christ is the sower. All who come to Him will live forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day. And through it all the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit. First the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wills the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, to what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed. When it is sown in the ground, it's the smallest 
of the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, Jesus spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest. I may preach with humility and with the heart, and that people listen with their hearts, not just with their lips, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. But dear friends, June, halfway, six months tapos na in June, and in six months, Pasko na. And we're still here, still alive, still full of hope because of our faith, because of the seed that was planted in our hearts 500 years ago. So thank you for the seed of faith, which we now also will share and continue to share. Speaking of seeds, mayroon pong kwento ng isang husband na who married somebody who had who was gifted, gifted with words. <laughs> Ma, so, sabi niya, anong gagawin ko? Finally, sabi ng kumpare alam mo, ang advice ko sa'yo, magtanim ka ng atis. Sabi, oh? Atis? Bakit? Sabi mo sa akin, mayroon bang nakakapagsalita habang kumakain ng atis? Sa dami ng buto? O nga, no? Atis, by the way, I, in English is... Ano ba? Um, well, sweet soap, custard apple, sugar apple. <laughs> First kasi niya ay si Anonas. Yun. Anyway, so he said, oh yeah. So he planted an artist plant backyard. Inayos sa talaga every day hoping sana magbunga ka na atis, no? Bunga. Pray. In the meantime, atiis lang siya. Sige, magsalita lang. Atiis na lang ako, sabi niya. Finally, the first fruit came out. He nervous niya. Wow, finally, matatapos na ang problema ko. At least, mababawasan na. And guess what? Pagbukas niya, yung atis pala na naitanim niya ay seedless. <laughs> seedless atis variety. Diyos ko po. Anyway, mga kapatid, we're talking today about seeds. And it all starts with the seed. Any, anybody tell you with a green thumb, we have some green thumbs. I've met some in the SVD like Father Noel Ribancos, Father June Perez. Yung mga talagang, they love plants and, well, they tell you that it starts with the seed. And it has to start with something very, very small. And that's the kingdom of God. Very small in the start, but like the mustard tree, it will grow to be a big tree. Uh, Father Sed Free was saying about an advertisement years ago, great things start from small beginnings. 
which is true, mga kapatid. Humble beginnings. That's where we all start anyway. And so, my dear friends, siguro, let us remember also that this small seed grows not so much because of us. Not so much because of our work. It has a life of its own. On its own, parang the kingdom of God will, will grow. And don't any one of us think it will grow because of me. Oh no. It will grow in spite of us. And it will grow because there's a team work going on, not just because of one person. Wala pong indispensable for the kingdom of God, in the work for the kingdom of God. So, dear friends, ask yourselves today, ano nang naisabog mo? <laughs> Anong naikalat mo? Nako, ikaw ba'y nagkakalat ng pag-asa? Yan. Kanya-kanyang kinakalat. Mga iba, nagkakalat lang. <laughs> ikaw ba'y nagkakalat ng galit? Nagkakalat ka ng simangot? Nagkakalat ka ng lagim. You know, it's our choice. Because there's also something na very small, as you know by now, very invisible in fact, but also very powerful. Ito naman po, I see COVID-19. So what are you sowing? Are you sowing the kingdom of God? Or are you sowing the kingdom of the evil one? We have a choice. Please make sure po, make sure na sana at the end of your life, you'll have no regrets na ano bang kinalat ko nung buhay pa ako? Nagkalat ako ng chismis? Nagkalat lang ako ng mga negativities? Fake news? Please go back to the basics. You know what we should be busy spreading? Very simple po the fruits of the Holy Spirit. By their fruits, you shall know them. Let's review the fruits of the Holy Spirit, okay? Pakicheck mo nga, kapatid. Number one, charity. Are you spreading that? Hmm? Number two, joy. Are you giving joy to people? Number three, peace. Are you an instrument of peace? Napakadali po yung manggulo. Napakadali po yung walang kapatawaran. My God, but to work for peace, that's it. Are you, pang-apat po, patience. Do you see this in your life? Kindness. Are you kind to people? Goodness. Generosity, gentleness, faithfulness, modesty, self-control, chastity. Check, 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 check. Because in the end, baka naman ang kinalat natin na seeds ay seeds of the evil one. Ito yung seeds ng COVID-19. Tignan nyo. Ang dami na pong nag, anong, ang dami na pong mga galit, matatapang, masusungit na, mayayabang na, nadidepress na, nagiging hopeless. These are all seeds of the evil one. Dear friends, good seeds and loving deeds. That is what the Lord is telling us today. Good seeds ba and loving deeds? ang ating binibigay. So, dear friends, uh, when I was a little boy, I was fascinated when I heard this story uh, one papa and mama about Johnny Appleseed. I don't know kung napakinggan niyo yung parang fable ba yan, tawag nila? About this man who had a bag of seeds walking all over America. That's why there are many apple trees now America because of this one man who everywhere he went would sow, naglalakad lang siya, sowing seeds of the apples. 
Many of the harvests, he never saw them. But he did them anyway. Ito rin po isang magandang thought for all of us. We don't have to be there for the harvest time. Just keep sowing. Kasi gusto ng iba, siya nag, nagtanim, siya pa rin ang aani, siya pa rin ang magiging sikat, etc. You know, somebody said something like, Thank God for, you know, you admire squirrels. Alam po niyo yung mga squirrels? <laughs> ano ba yung squirrels sa Tagalog? Anyway, they, they keep so many nuts and they forget where they kept them. And these nuts grow to be big trees. Forgetting what you did, let others harvest. For example, yung mga ibon na yan, mga ibon na lumilipad, Diba? They are the ones who sow a lot of seeds and make trees grow. You know how they do it, of course, no? They drop the bombs. <laughs> and then, mamaya na na. They don't even know what they did there, but they did it. Maybe this is something po kailangan matutunan din po natin. Just keep sowing good deeds and forget the harvest. The Lord will take care of that. Let it be a reward for those who come after us. Somebody sows, somebody else reaps, somebody else harvests. That's the kingdom of God. It's all coming together. Huh? So, please remember to what the Lord told us. You did not choose me. I chose you and appointed you to bear fruit that will last. John 15, verse 16. Please think, ano yung mga nagawa mo that you think will last? Sana may maiwan tayo for the others na mabuti. Kasi madalas po, ang iniwan pa natin yung masama. For example, yung mga families, nag-aaway-aaway, magkakapatid, pati sa yaman, naging court case na. Wow. I, I can just imagine what the parents feel. They work hard for this. Yung mga nag-inherit, nag-aaway-aaway. And don't forget, it will go to the children. You leave the children, yung mga magpipinsan, Nag-away-away na rin just because you did not fix your garbage. Please think about that. Give us the grace, Lord, to bear fruit that will last. And what then should we, we be busy now? Let's pray to the Holy Spirit to change our mindsets and to change our heart beats. Mindset, kasi kung ang mindset mo, it's all about money and work. Why don't you say, Lord, change my mindset from the work of my hands to the love in my heart. Change your heart beats. What is your heart beating for? Hindi ba may kanta nun? Uh, what am I beating for if not for you? Huh? What am I living for? Yung pala. <laughs> Naku, hindi makaka-relate sila. Anyway, what is your heart beating for? Bakit ka gumigising every day? See, this is very important po. Kasi baka nakafocus tayo masyado to the works, the money, the achievements of our hands. And we forget the love in our hearts. You know, hindi bali nang empty yung bulsa. Wag lang empty yung puso. So dear friends, please remember, we are called human being. Hindi tayong tinawag na human doing. Yan ang problema eh. 
You are so focused in doing and doing and doing. Fine. I have nothing against work, productive work. I, I, I salute that, definitely. But sometimes it's work empty. It's all for show. It's all for the self. And that kind of work, wag na lang po. By the way, listen to this. Fellow senior citizens, I read a beautiful message I'd like to share with you. Sabi nila, listen ha, beauty does not disappear with age, with old age. Oh no. It just transfers from the face to the heart. <laughs> Lumipat lang. <laughs> Ay, salamat, Consuelo di Bobo. Hindi naman po, pero tama po yun eh. Beauty, real beauty, if yung beauty mo lang is all about how you look, and you forget your heart, ay, nako. Diba? Kung ano mga rimedyo, retoke, basta, beauty. Eh, wait, ito kaya yung asikasuhin mo, yung ugali mo. Maybe that's even, that's seed that will last. That's the seed that will last, mga kapatid. The goodness you have done, you leave behind. Dear brothers and sisters, for example, uh, the fruits of the Spirit, like happiness, etc. Oh, let's start with happiness. Happy ka ba? Many of us are not happy because we have forgotten. We are so involved about problems and projects, etc. And we have forgotten the most simple thing to do every day is to be joyful and to spread joy, no matter how little lang. Okay, let's go by the what? Happiness. That's it. Where? Where does happiness, where does joy happen? It happens here. Your joy, your happiness does not or should not depend on things or people or situation outside you. Kasi kung yung po ang definition natin ng happiness, you will never be happy. Because there will never be perfect situation around you, perfect people. No. You just say, I decide to be happy. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. It's your decision. So it happens in the heart. How? Uh, when? Second question. When? Can we have happiness? Now na. Sinabi ba yun? Kasi I'll be happy, Father, kung nakuha ko na yung pera. Siguro happy na ako kung nagbago na yung husband ko. I'll be happy. Eh, so in the meantime, you're not happy. Hindi, kasi hindi pa nangyari yun. Please listen. There's a beautiful uh, YouTube I saw about uh, this Jane Pearson, Nightbird. Nightbird, I think that's it. Let's check it out. 2% chance to live because of cancer. She sang her original songs, uh, America's Got Talent, got the golden buzzer from Simon Conwell. But amazing. And you know, she said something. I hope you listen to this. All of you are still waiting for the great tomorrow. Someday, magiging happy ako. Pag naayos na yan, ayos na. Ay, siguro happy na ako, happy na kami. Listen to her. She said, Don't wait for the time when life is not hard anymore before you decide to be happy. Oh, guys, powerful. Huwag mo nang hintayin yung pagka siguro maganda ng buhay, magiging happy na ako. No. Be happy now. Be happy now. Decide to be happy now. Now na. Every day, today I'm going to be happy and joyful today. No matter what. Maybe I'm in pain. Maybe I'll get well. Maybe I'm waiting for that work. Maybe it will come. But in the meantime, I'm going to be happy. This is, you go to the cemetery 
ang dami dyan na matay na miserable, unhappy, because they were waiting for that great tomorrow. Saka na lang, siguro I'll be happy. They died sad. Ikaw, make a choice. Think about this. Kung namatay kang malungkot, di malungkot kang namatay. <laughs> di ba? And you blame others? Oh no. Why, why, why do you have, why, why be happy now? Because life is short and uncertain. I don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow, but today I decide to be joyful, to be kind, to be patient, to be loving. Because I don't know if I'll still wake up tomorrow. And about what happened in the past, tapos na yun eh. If you want to sow seeds, sow them now. The good seeds and the good deeds, now na. And how, how do we become happy? It's very simple. You decide and you make others happy. Then you will be happy. So every day, please make at least one person happy, okay? Make that decision. And you know where it starts? It starts with you in the morning when you look at yourself at the mirror. Simula mo, make yourself happy. Ay, ang cute mo pa rin, kahit matanda ka na. Okay, yeah. You enjoy yourself. And say, okay, Lord, I'm here. With all my uh, sham, drudgery, broken dreams, warts and all, I'm still here. And I know you love me. Beautiful. Because if you do that, you can go out. Try mo rin. Ako wala na pong... Hindi na nga tayo human doing, human being na lang, di ba? Kumapit na lang tayo doon na wala nang beauty dito, pero dito pwede pa. <laughs> Kakapit na lang tayo doon. Dear friends, this is just something because some people are so engrossed. Look, let's put it this way. You go on a journey. Many of us are so, so much focused on the thoughts of our minds. Yeah, I still have many thoughts. I've, I've written books, etc., etc. And I still have many plans. Until tumanda yung palin, my thoughts of my mind. Okay, okay. Salute the intelligent, the wise. Number two, sabi namang iba, the work of my hands. Marami pa kong gagawin. Uh, meron pa akong gagawin trabaho. Fine, fine, okay. I mean, go ahead. But in the meantime, you're not happy, you're not kind, etc. May iba naman, oh, the money in my pocket. Yan, yan, dapat. Dapat magkapera pa, mas marami pa. Yeah, in the meantime, whether you have money or not, if your heart is empty, wala pa rin. So dear friends, I believe we need to make a choice. Choose to be happy, to be kind, to be humble. To be what the Lord wants us to be. And you'll have a joy which the world cannot give nor take away. What I'm trying to say, Sigur, is this. Forget being impressive. Be expressive. Naalala nyo, may kwento no na this guy saw a beautiful girl. and But he would not approach. Nag, nagpabongga pa siya, you know. Forma, like bodybuilding, but he would never have read that girl. Tumanda na sila, pa, pabongga pa rin siya, pa-impress, pa-impress. Finally, naglapit na sila and sabi niya, you know, all these years, I just wanted to, to show you who I am. <laughs> and in the meantime, the girl said, can you not just say, I love you? Lahat ng ginawa mong pinagagawa. But you forgot to tell me. Just, you could have just said, I love you. And that would have been enough. Let's not spend our whole lifetime doing all kinds of things and we forget what is really, really important. What is important in the end? That we live a meaningful life. Not so much a successful life. Successful yung umaman ka lang, sumikat ka, komportable ka. Successful. Okay. But meaningful? Kahit di ka mayaman, you did a good deed, 
you help people, you raise a good family, you made a difference. You did not just make money nor make a name, but you made a difference in the lives of people you encountered. Back here, beauty is not here. It should be here more and more. Which reminds us of our Mother Mary. By the way, Kahapon was the feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mama Mary. The day before, the Sacred Heart. The three most sacred, the three most holy hearts, Sacred Heart of Jesus, Immaculate Heart of Mama Mary, and the most chaste spouse of Saint Joseph. See, it's all about the heart. Well, and among uh, sacred brain of Jesus, <laughs> immaculate brain of Mama Mary. See, it's the heart that matters in the end. Sabi nga po nila, don't just leave behind your footprints. Leave behind your heart prints. That is what we all need to go back to. And Mama Mary, yesterday, some of you may have forgotten, Independence Day. So I ended up singing, and let's all sing today, just a simple acknowledgement and prayer. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. We pray for our country. We pray for our country, the land of our birth. We pray for all nations that peace be on earth. And from our hearts we sing, Ave, 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 we now profess our faith. From the heart we pray, I believe in, in one, one God, God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In humility, we now bring to the Lord 
petitions from our hearts and our response, Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer. That the church, the people of God, may be a leaven for the whole world through its proclamation of witness to the love of God for all men and women. We pray. Lord, Lord listen. listen to our prayer. That church leaders and all those who work for building of God's kingdom may not be discouraged by the seeming lack of success of their efforts, but continue to rely on God, who alone gives growth. We pray, Lord, listen to our prayer. That political and civil leaders may decease from going after instant popularity and political windfalls, but pursue what is truly beneficial for the people. We pray, Lord, listen to our prayer. That the Lord may provide those who labor in the land with food for body and spirit, make their work fruitful and give them rich harvests. We pray, Lord, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, listen to our prayer. And we pray in a special way for those who till the soil, the farmers, and those who care for the earth and bless this earth, bless this wonderful world we have, that the people who come after us will still enjoy a wonderful world ahead of them. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. with you brothers and sisters that this is our sacrifice our thanksgiving may be acceptable to God our loving Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church O God who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament God, we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ the Lord, 
For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, the Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. So, the company of the angels <coughs> and the saints, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. For two or three are gathered together in my name. There I am in the midst. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are, nasa man kayo this very moment, the Lord Jesus is with you. Blessing you, loving, healing all of us in this Eucharist. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Pope Francis, Onesto, our bishop, all the bishops, the clergy, and missionaries and religious all over the world. Remember to Lord our departed relatives and friends all the victims of COVID-19. We pray for frontliners, health workers, essential workers who risk their lives so that others may live. Bring them and all that departed to the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, the apostles, and martyrs and all your saints who have done your will throughout the ages. And may we praise you in union with them, give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We have a Father who loves us. Never forget that. As we journey on, yes, we surrender everything, everyone to God, our loving Father.
and grant us peace, keep us free from sin, protect us from all anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, O God, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, be joyful, be hopeful, no matter what. Focus on the Lord, not on the load. Because you are loaded, even if you are loaded. Peace be with you, and joy be unto you. Amen. Thank you. Lamb, Lamb of, God, of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please bow your heads. Wherever you are at this moment, whatever you're going through right now, the Lord Jesus is with you. The Lord is with us always and in always. The greatest healer, the Lord of Lords, the Lord who loves you, the Lord who loves me unconditionally. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, happy and grateful are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am Lord. not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Act of a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please bow your heads and put your right hand over your heart and just close your eyes. May the Lord bless you and embrace you. Lalong lalo na po yung mga kapatid natin na nahihirapan dahil sa karamdaman, dahil sa problema, dahil sa kahirapan ng buhay, Mga nahihirapan dahil sa kadiliman ng kasalanan. Come, Holy Spirit. Heal us. Come, Holy Spirit. Reset our mindsets. And change our heartbeats. Jesus, we trust in you. We surrender everything to you, Lord. We hold on to your word, Lord. Kami po'y kumakapit 
sa inyong pangako na kasama ninyo kami hanggang sa katapusan ng mundo. Lord, you know everything. You know what I need to change. Dapat ko nang baguhin sa buhay ko, sa ugali ko, sa pananaw ko. Tinataas din po namin ang aming bayang Pilipinas. Panginoon, tulungan po niyo kami as a country, as a people, as a nation. We have been gifted with the faith. May we continue to share this faith in whatever way we can, in any little way we can. Salamat po, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po. For the intercession of Mama Mary, And in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen and Amen. So mga kapatid, um, we'll have a harana after the Mass. And we just like to remember Father Jess Briones, SVD. At uh, kanyang mga kaklase, Koinonia group uh, class. 45 years nila sa priesthood. We pray for priests. Please pray for us, your priests, as we pray for you also. Amen, Lord, and amen. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let's bow your heads in prayer. Open your heart, even a broken heart, a suffering heart. An open heart is, a broken heart is an open heart, open to God's love. And so today, let us all receive the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord and sow good seeds and good deeds. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Just the